My name is Amy Milliken. I'm the Warren County attorney, and I credit Charles Reynolds with my legal career. He was multi-talented. He was so, so smart. He would be mad at me for talking about him and, and telling you how fantastic he was. He was president of Bowling Green Bank and Trust, sat on many bank boards. He was involved in the City County Planning Commission when we were just getting it started. I remember, and I, and I know people who say, during his tenure at Bowling Green Bank and Trust, I was a complete nobody, but he took a chance on me and gave me a loan, and that's why I'm successful in my business today. He was one of the first appointed to the Kentucky Court of Appeals when it was just being started. Governor Julian Carroll thought he was the man for the job, and no doubt he was. And then he ran for Supreme Court of Kentucky. He wrote, and it's called, it's very famous, it's a famous opinion, and it's called Steel Vest. And it, it really sets the bar for what's called summary judgment in Kentucky. Not only Kentucky, but really around the United States, he had a brilliant legal mind. But again, you would never know it because he was just so humble. Hi, I'm Ray Buckberry. I was a partner of Charles Reynolds for numerous years at Bellowares and more. His overall demeanor was, I think, impressive to just about anybody that dealt with him. That carried through, and you can see that in the comments from the fellow justices on the uh, Kentucky Supreme Court and on the Court of Appeals, which he was on for a number of years as well. Hi, I'm Rosalind Davis, and I was Justice Reynolds' secretary for 15 years. Justice Reynolds was a very interesting person. First of all, he was the father of 11 children, and he did that with his lovely wife, Miss Patty is what we called her, and we adored her. Justice Reynolds loved working for the Supreme Court, and the staff of the Supreme Court just adored him because he made a point every time we went to go and talk to each one of them, find out how their families were. He cared a lot. He was a very, very good justice, a very low-key person. I think I cherish more about Charles than anything else was his friendship because I knew the extent of that was he had my back. I considered him a personal friend. He probably thought I was a little crazy because I just, I, I adored him because he never pushed me, but he encouraged me. He wanted me to be the best that I could be and he knew that I would be a great attorney. Justice Reynolds was always a good friend to me and I knew it and uh, I appreciated it. If I needed to call him at one o'clock in the morning, no matter what my problem was, I knew Charles would be there for me. He wanted to know what was going on with me, and sometimes he would come in and sit down at my desk, and we would just talk, and he always wanted to know if there was anything I needed or if any, everything was going well with my family. He just cared that way. When you look at what you need to find for someone to qualify for this distinguished alumni recognition, they say look for someone who uh, had the highest accomplishments in whatever field of endeavor he chose. It's hard to argue with being on the Supreme Court of Kentucky if you were going to be a lawyer. And the other is to find someone that has the integrity and the character to perform professionally in order to reflect favorably upon Western Kentucky University. And without question, I think he did that as well. The Commonwealth is a better place because of Charlie Reynolds and his legacy. He leaves a legacy for those of us left behind. And, and I hope as a mentee, I'm able to carry on the Charlie Reynolds legacy. I hope that I'm able to pass that on to my children and other attorneys who come to talk to me and to see me. I think anyone who, who goes to Western who is a Western alumni, knows that there's a spirit at Western and we all feel it. And I think Charlie embodied that spirit and he took it with him everywhere he went.